N4H&H here listening to a soda station out in Arizona. He spotted at 14.061. Let's see if we can get him in a little better. Digital noise reduction. 100 hertz filter width. I'll scan over here and show you. Digital noise reduction, 15. 100 hertz filter width. So I'm getting them better at about 50 hertz high. Kick in the pre-selector. Now, I'm gonna turn off APF a minute, the audio peak filter, and I'm gonna find him over here. You can look at the uh, indicator when he sends again and you'll see that he's high. See that? See it flickering to the right? There he is, 50 hertz high. And boy, doesn't he sound good now. Let's, let's look at with the, uh, let's turn all this off now. See, I can put the, uh, whoops, let me get the camera on. I can put this back down on zero now. For the APF. APF off. And you know the contour, this here, defaults at 300. Contour can also be used for uh, CW. APF is the bomb on CW usually. Okay, I'm going to reverse all that. Now I'm down to just the uh, 600 hertz roofing filter. Uh, hopefully he'll send again. There's a 300. There's 600. I'm going to put it on auto by pressing the roofing filter button straight in. All these buttons work that way. AGCC. If I press it straight in, it goes back to default. All right, now, or auto, uh, digital noise reduction. Now notice, I have the DSP filter width at 100. There's 200, 250, 300. Watch what happens in the uh, display up there when I go to 350. See, in auto, it's just gonna track. So it goes to the 600 hertz filter. There I am, 500 hertz wide. That's as wide as you can go when you're set on narrow. Remember the narrow button right here. So, Back down under 300 our go. There's 100. There's 50. He's pretty good with no other help besides digital noise reduction and setting the filter at 50 with the 300 hertz roofing filter. I'll be honest with you, if I switch, watch this, I'm gonna switch the roofing filter. Now that I've got the DSP handling the width. Wait till he sends again. Well, I'm just gonna let you see. You can't really tell the difference now, really. The, uh, the DSP is overshadowing even the uh, roofing filter. And incidentally, for you guys interested in the FTDX 101, um, it doesn't come with a 300 hertz roofing filter like the 5000 does. And the argument from Yesu is, well, with the DSP, you really don't need it. And, uh, well, you could probably say that they're right about that. Now, if you get the MP model, you will get the 300 hertz filter. Um, if you order the D uh, model, you'll need to have the filter put in by Yesu. You cannot retrofit and put it in yourself. 
Okay, again, I'm gonna go back to auto by pressing that button in. I guess he's done, but that, that shows you what I wanted you to see. Um, that the, uh, a little bit of, little bit of uh, work with the DSP there. And again, the main thing I wanted you to see was you can take the APF and find them. Now you'll find them at their pitch. That's the difference. See, I like to listen at 550. So I've got mine set for 550. You guys know how to do that. This knob right here, the outer ring, and you'll watch the display up there, the U52. We'll show you your tone that you want to listen back at. Well, I like 550. I'm really comfortable with 550. And uh, don't you just love having knobs? Okay, so, uh, but what I wanted you to see was you can, you, if, if they report 14061, but they're not quite there, you can use the APF and go find them. And he was 50 hertz high. Well, I zero the APF, then came back over and used the VFO to find him so I could hear him at the pitch. I want to hear him rather than hearing him at the pitch, which was, of course, 50 hertz high. Okay, I hope that uh, video was informative to you. This is N4H&H &H saying 73.